Have you ever wondered at the end of a really busy day when you're sitting at home on your own, where is everyone? Does anybody actually care about me? Why am I so alone? This is not unusual and in my coaching practice I hear this increasingly more and more. We are in this ever more interconnected world that we are actually connected in so many ways to so many people across many, many continents all around the world. Yet, more than ever, we have this heightened awareness and consciousness of our disconnection from others in ways that actually matter. Well, this month, I'm going to explore the subtle art of giving a f The subtle art of giving a f Hi everyone, my name is Josie Thompson. I'm a multi award winning coach. I'm an international speaker. I'm an author. I'm a two times cancer survivor. And I am passionate about empowering people to live full, abundant, healthy, and happy lives. One of the things that I have noticed is that in this ever more increasing interconnected world, we are feeling more disconnected in the ways that really matter. And I think this is leading to a massive epidemic, which is significantly infecting our mental health and our emotional and physical health and well-being. I think it's a serious dilemma and I think it's a problem that we all need to take responsibility for. The only way we can do that is to actually give a f There's a great book out there called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a f And I think, not necessarily just that book, but I think that there's, a, there's an epidemic where people are becoming so self-absorbed and so self-serving that they've forgotten the fact that we are all connected and belong to one humanity. And people have stopped caring. This month I explore this theme and investigate ways that you can authentically connect with others in meaningful ways that make a huge difference, not just to their lives, but also to you. So if you're keen to expand your world so that you have a sense of belonging and that there's a sense that you are part of something bigger than you, check it out. I look forward to hearing your comments. In this interconnected, always on 24 seven world, we are connected in ways we could never have imagined. Yet, we are so desperately disconnected in the ways that really matter. We are wired for connection. We need regular, genuine heart-to-heart -heart connection with other humans for our sense of survival and ultimately to thrive in life. I believe part of the problem is we're becoming more selfish, self-absorbed individuals, too caught up in our own busyness to give a f about others or their circumstances. It's not your life, so why care or get involved? This attitude deeply saddens me and I believe contributes to a very disconnected and unhappy world. We need to remember that we are part of a collective called humanity and it's our humanity that matters it's not the color of our skin the place we were born the language we speak or any other feature that differentiates us if we want to improve our own lives and contribute to a greater good we need to start giving a f about one another just this week, I found moments to connect randomly with strangers. First, I was visiting a dear friend in hospital in palliative care who is about to lose her battle with cancer. As I left her room to enter the ward corridor, a little old man all wired up to his medical apparatus was very slowly and carefully shuffling by me. I smiled and asked, can I see your license to drive that thing, please? He looked up at me and began to roar with laughter. We stood there together in that corridor for about a minute, laughing with tears in our eyes. In that moment, we connected unconditionally, heart to heart. As I turned to leave, he said, I haven't laughed that hard for such a long time. Thank you. I felt really good knowing I'd brightened his day in some way. 
And this morning I went to my local fresh food markets and there was a little boy with his mum at the blueberry stall. I bought three punnets. I noticed that the boy was playing on his mobile device. So I asked him, are you winning? He looked up and he said, yep. And while I held his gaze, I asked him, I asked him if he ate blueberries. He replied, only on Fridays. I laughed at him and I said, you're funny. I only eat them on Saturday. And do you know why I'm so happy today? He looked up and, he, and I answered, because today is Saturday and I'm going to eat all of these yummy blueberries. He smiled and he turned to his mother and asked, mum, can I eat blueberries on Saturday? And we all had a laugh and we shared some blueberries together before I headed off. As I left the markets, there were two people smoking in a corner which I needed to walk through to get home. As I approached with a smile on my face, I asked, is this the naughty corner? And the two men responded, you bet. We shared a laugh for one moment and as I walked away, I overheard them talking about how nice it was to have someone notice them and greet them. Again, these small, seemingly inconsequential interactions seem to matter to them and to me. We all got to share in the delight of having someone give a f about them in a random moment. But in those moments with random strangers, our hearts actually connected and our worlds expanded and we felt cared for and we felt seen and we felt important and somehow we felt like we mattered. And I think what's happening more and more these days, it is getting crazy mad busy. We are over committing and our lives are becoming a lot more insular. We are becoming a lot more self-focused and we are forgetting that without others in our world, without heart connections with people that actually matter, our worlds become meaningless and empty. I'm wondering what could happen for your own life if you were more consciously to give a f in some random moments of your day or your week. I'd love to hear your stories. Be sure you approach these moments with an open heart and a genuine desire to simply touch another person's life with care and love. May you be a light in the lives of those you meet and may you always bask in the light of your good heart and love. Shine on. So I share some experiences that I've had and I share some ways that you can enrich your own world. Please let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what you've done to explore and also share the subtle art of giving a fuck and how it's actually made a difference to you and others. And I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Bye for now.